reason we come here to this memorial site to honor our brothers and sisters who died for us for a better education. You'll see it when we go inside the museum, there is a special room of names of the students who died and those who have never been found up until today from June 16, 1976. The picture that you'll see there on my far left, that is the famous picture that was taken by one of the photographers. He passed away last year by the name of Sam Zima. He took that picture there. The young boy they're carrying there by the name of Hector Peterson. He died at the age of 13, of 12, sorry. Hector was not part of 1976. The lady that you see there on the pictures, Hector was waiting for her sister so that they can go home. It was their usual spot down the road there. Unfortunately, because it was 1976, he was wearing a school uniform. The police, they thought he was one of those students. And then they shot him and then he passed away. Most of the people, because of that famous picture, they saying Hector is the first student to die. But he was the youngest because they saw the picture. The first student who was shot in 1976 by the name of Hestin Indov. They shot him down the road there. That's when they were going to the Orlando Stadium. The guy who's carrying Hector by the name of Mbuyiso Makubo, he was not part of 1976 also. He was passing by the road where they shot the young boy. He saw him lying down. He carried him and took him to the clinic across the road. Since 1976, June 16, they had never found the guy there, Umbuiso Makubo, till today. That is why these are the words from his mother. He's saying, where, what happened to Umbuiso Makubo? So we don't know what happened. Some, they said they went to uh, Botswana. They went to Botswana, he was not there. So they don't know till today, where is Umbuiso Makubo? The lady there, by the name of Antoinette, She's married to the Sitole family now. She's still alive. She's 62 years. She used to work here in the museum, but now she, uh, she, she do, she's retired. Because at the age of 60 years, when you're working, especially for the government, you need to retire. So what she does now is presentation. You book her on a tour. She comes here, she comes wherever that you are. She do a presentation, and then she tell you what was happening in 1976. Hector was not buried here. He was buried in one of the cemeteries that we are having here in Soweto, which is Avalon. This is just a memorial, the one that you see over here. The open space is in the wall. They're telling us about the missing history, that one day our government will tell us what really happened in 1976. The kids, they cannot just die because of the language, the Africans. That is why in 1994, Desmond Tutu did the TRC, the Truth and Reconciliation, around in one of the biggest churches that we have in here, that we call it Regina Mundi. It's a Catholic church. Can we also go closer to the monument? Can, Can we, we go outside? closer this way? I can the way people that are here. Sarah, were you able? Uh, okay. Since everybody else left. Okay. So family, this is what our tour guide, Kosi, was talking about. So the water that you see on the left and also on the right, these are the tears of the people of Soweto crying for their kids who just died for the language Africans and also this water is cleaning the blood because the small stones that you see here this is what they were using as the part of the weapon when the police were shooting them with, with guns so they did not have any guns the students the children, they were too small at the age of 12 to 18 years so they were using these small stones to protect themselves you'll see some of the guns that were using to shoot the students here in 1976 inside the museum there. From the main door there, you see the flowers over here? Remember when I said that this place, it was, it was an open space. 
This is where the white police were standing here. We call it that side. Yes, this is where they were shooting standing there. While the students were going down the road, that side where we're coming from. So normally we start a tour here, go to Villa Kazi, the famous street in the world. We call that walk a freedom walk because that's where the students were marching, going to Villa Kazi, then after to Orlando Stadium. As you moving along this side, on the left and also on the right hand side, the pavement is red. It symbolizes the blood of those students who were injured and those who died in 1976. So as we're gonna go inside the museum there, we're gonna see the three parts of the museum, the history of Soweto, the beginning of Soweto, of what happened in 1976 and also after we voted in 1994. But when we go inside the museum, ladies and gentlemen, we are not allowed to take pictures or any videos. The only pictures that we can take, it's outside here and the videos. Immediately when we go inside there. So it's going to show you what was happening during the apartheid in South Africa and then also what was happening in Soweto in 1976. Is it private or? It's a government. It's a government institution. Any questions? Yes, I was trying to get us to take. Let's see. Uh, they do have some time. Let's see if they're not finished, and then so that we can get you one. All right, then. Uh, what I was looking to do is to get us a group photo somewhere by here when we come back. Okay, when we come back, yeah. Yes, because uh, they, they're waiting for us inside, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You, you want one? You want one? This is a very famous picture. I've seen this for years. Mm -hmm. yeah. We started the whole... What happened here has changed things. So family, that was the Hector Peterson presentation, and now this is the museum.